What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and what a lovely day for Zur to be entering the tower. Today is actually the official first day for Zur in year 2, and let's just say he has some goodies for us. And in today's Destiny video, I'm actually going to be covering where Zur is located at, and what he has in store for us, by, you know, checking his inventory. Anyways, as you guys can see, I'm heading down toward Tower North, and that is where Zur, Agent of the Nipples, is going to be located at. Anyways, here is a first preview of Tentacle Face in year two, everybody. As you guys can see, he has a legacy engram. And in case you guys don't know what this does, it basically gets you the year one exotics. And also, just in case you guys are thinking, well, will these year one exotics have year two stats? No, they're going to be year one exotics with year one stats. So also keep that in mind, everybody. 31 strange coins can be a big deal, but collectors are going to collect. Let's just say that much. Anyways, up next at the Nipples Half Horse is an insurmountable Skull Fort, which is an exotic Titan helmet. And this exotic helmet actually isn't too bad to have, especially in the beginning of year two. It can definitely help boost up your light level in case you're needing that. And not to mention, the insurmountable Skull Fort isn't that bad of an exotic Titan helmet. As you guys can see, it has improved transfusion, kills with Storm Fist, immediately trigger health regeneration, respond with full melee energy and also gain a second melee charge. It also of course has infused, increased strength, increased discipline, hands-on gain bonus super energy from melee kills on minions of the darkness. Up next it also has for the perks heavy lifting, gain bonus super energy from heavy weapon kills on minions of the darkness. Not a bad perk to have especially with the new titan super. Oh my goodness that titan super is amazing. Anyways up next for the last perk on this helmet is invigoration, gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups. Okie dokie so that's all of it for the skull forts. Up next I have for you guys the young Amakara spine. And on these gauntlets they have been changed up quite a bit since year one. You can actually now carry two trip mines not just one and yes those bad boys are stackable. And also it has increased discipline, increased strength, it also has momentum transfer, gain bonus melee energy on grenade hits, which is a pretty good combination with these gauntlets, and it also has fastball, increases grenade throw distance, and hand cannon loader and sniper rifle loader. Okay, so that's all of them for year two Amakara spines, and I have to say, they are some great gauntlets in year two. Come on now, two trip mines, oh my goodness, one was bad enough in the crucible, just imagine two of them now. There's going to be trip mines everywhere. Anyways, up next is actually some new exotic gauntlets for the Warlock. Lucky you, Warlocks, for starting out with one of the new Tekken King exotics. Daggone, you guys. Anyways, as you guys can see, these exotic gauntlets are called the Impossible Machines. And I have to say, they do look pretty freaking sweet. I, in my opinion, are going to buy these just because they are brand spanking new. And I want to give them a try. And the perks, not to mention, are pretty interesting on these gauntlets, to say the least. Of course, it hasn't fused, but it also has this perk called Lightning Rod. And what Lightning Rod exactly does, as you guys can see, it unlocks Landfall for the Stormcaller subclass for free. On casting, Stormtrance actually fires a bolt of lightning into the ground, creating a devastating shockwave underneath you as well. Dang, now that just sounds freaking awesome. Looks like the Warlocks are definitely going to be having some more fun with their supers. If you wasn't having enough fun already, well then just get prepared when you get your hands on these exotic gauntlets. But anyways, as you guys can see, it's going to be a little differently upgrading these exotic gauntlets. As you guys can see, they're going to take Worm Spore actually to upgrade. But anyways, the other perks is increased discipline, increased strength, Impact Induction, which Impact Induction, as you guys can see what it does, it gives you bonus grenade energy on melee hits, which is not a bad perk on these gauntlets, especially how they increase the strength and discipline, which discipline gives you more grenades and strength involves your melee. Anyways, also on these gauntlets, which is also a great combination to have on these bad boys, it has Snap Discharge, which this increases the melee attack speed. Up next is the Pulse Rifle Loader, which this increases the reload speed of Pulse Rifles, and it also has Fusion Rifle Loader, which this increases the reload speed of Fusion Rifles. But yeah, that's about wrapping up these new exotic gauntlets, which once again, they are called the Impossible Machine. Anywho, something else that's pretty new with the nipples is the three of coins, which these have a stackable effect that increases the chances the next ultra you defeat will drop an exotic engram. You heard that right. We'll drop an exotic engram. We'll drop an exotic engram. Oh yes. Oh yes. I highly suggest if you have the coins to actually buy these to just try them out. Who knows, you might get lucky and actually get an exotic engram and this will all pay off for you. And if you actually get an exotic engram, well then congratulations. It paid off for you. Anywho, I actually decided to first off buy one exotic helmet engram, which I'll decrypt this later. And I also bought a few three of the coins, stackable consumable. And lastly, I bought a few heavy ammo synthesis, just because you never know when you're going to need some heavy ammo. 
And I also plan to have plenty of strange coins next time around, because strange coins are dropping like mad in the Tekken King DLC. I don't know if you guys haven't noticed that, but they are dropping everywhere. I have to say it is awesome. But anyways, I guess that's about wrapping up this sir video. But before I wrap it up, I'm going to decrypt that helmet exotic engram. And let's see what I get, shall we? Well, first off, I got a lot of blingrams to decrypt. But as you guys can see, just decrypt the exotic engram and I got a Sky Burner Annex, which is one of the new exotic hunter helmets that just recently came out in the Tekken King DLC. And I am stoked that I actually got my hands on this. But my other buddy actually got their hands on the Graviton Forfeit. And oh my goodness, does this helmet look sick. It grants Shade Step, as you guys can see. Anyways, as you guys can see, I got my hands on the Sky Burners Annex. Woohoo! Yeah! The Sky Burners Annex is not a bad helmet, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it is kind of bad, but it is also pretty convenient in the PvE world. Let's just say that much. And not to mention, it looks freaking awesome. I mean, my first opinion on it was that it looked kind of like a fish tank. Like I have some water in my helmet right now. I don't know why I thought that, but I thought that when I first saw this. This helmet is all about generating orbs, so it can actually kind of be convenient in the PvP world as well, especially if you have multiple other people wearing this helmet at the same time. Because killing people with your heavy actually generates more orbs, and when you collect orbs while your super is full, it can grant you special ammo. And not to mention, it also replenishes your health each time you pick up an orb. So basically this can be a great team player exotic helmet. But anyways guys, there you have it. That is actually my first year two Zer review. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video, but this has been your rifle. As always, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder to support by please leaving a like and or sharing the video if you're feeling really generous with me. It is much appreciated everybody. The continued support continues to help my channel grow and for that I can't thank you all enough. But once again, I'm out of here. Remember to stay safe, Guardians, and don't sleep in pee. Peace out. <laughs>